Hey everyone, Dave Putz here from JKP Holdings. As always, join next to me, Mr. Nathan Turner. How are you? Very good, very good. So I'm really excited about today. Um, we're going to dive directly into our topic today simply because we have a lot to cover. Yeah. Um, but before we get into that, we want to bring on Tracy to discuss this awesome thing that's coming up that we're excited about because we're connecting with other people and connect with you guys on an awesome opportunity to learn a ton about notes. So Tracy, can you share a little bit about this event that you got coming up, this small little bit of bit event that's going to be gigantic at the end of it? Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me on. And thanks for you guys participating too, because you're honored speakers. But we are in our sixth annual online cash flow expo summit. And we have expanded from three days to four days because three wasn't enough. <laughs> we have over 30 speakers panels, sessions, and they have one direction, and that is to share information people can put into action in 2024. And everybody brings their tips and tricks, and they also uh, share information. They're not selling sessions. They are true informational sessions. So we're real excited about this event. It's bigger than better. And the best part is people can attend live for free. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's pretty cool, right? That's so we all have a passion for sharing about note investing, real estate investing, creative financing, all these alternative sources of investing beyond the traditional stocks and bonds. And so that's what this is, is how to generate cash flow using some of these alternative methods. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, please be sure you tune in here. it will be an awesome event for you guys to jump in here and learn about. Um, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I put my the link inside the chat. If you want to reach out to me and Nathan for more information, let us know. Tracy, yeah, and it is, so yeah, and it's just one thing. It's February 8th through 11th, 2024. Yes. If you can't catch us live, we do sell VIP recordings for a very small, affordable cost. And we do keep the, the live sessions up for 48 hours. So, you know, don't think, oh, I missed it. Make sure you come back and visit. So thanks again, Dave and Nathan, for one, speaking at the event, being panelists, yeah. and for letting us share it with your viewers. Appreciate it. Absolutely, Absolutely. Tracy. I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, All right, have a good session. I'm going to stay on and listen because this is going to be yeah. an interesting session. Very interesting. Right. Very good. It's been awesome with us. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff that's gone on. Um, and it's been really interesting to learn this world of AI. It is such a huge buzzword. And I want to remind everyone, if you have a problem with this, if you want to rewatch this, which you're going to, you can catch the podcast as well as the video on YouTube. It'll probably be up sometime next week. Um, but definitely tune into it. Um, get your pencils out, get your pens out, get a piece of paper. Um, I think you're going to be amazed. Let me rephrase it. You're going to be amazed. Um, it was really cool just to hear some of the intros that our, our guests are going to come up with. Um, I was shocked of what was available and what is amazing out there. And I'm a tech guy. Yeah. Um, but what happens next blows me away. Um, <laughs> It's I'm really not cool. the tech guy. And so this is totally blowing my mind. I'm coming at this from the direction of like, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know like what questions to ask and what can I do? So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this as well. Yeah. So we are now welcome in Mr. Simon White. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm not sure why your video is not working. I may just go yeah, right Simon's to Zoom. Yeah. Just let me uh, my just, You No, know, no. It's some reason with the uh, connection. We're just going to go right to make it easy. All right. So, Simon, one of the things I was amazed with and I was really excited by was this opportunity to learn from you on the world of AI. And this sharing the information was awesome, right? Um, I, and also, I want to put in the chat too, you can see in the pinned comment probably is the uh, information to get a whole Simon. Well, before we get dive into all this world, I wanted to start off with playing a little recording that Simon was able to play for us. And this kind of introduces, I, I would say introduces, what AI can do. Now, I'm going to preface this and say that Nathan is for the first minute, first uh, for the first time a few minutes ago, this is not Nathan speaking. 
Yeah. This is generated AI speaking to that you can learn what AI can do. Go ahead, Simon, hit that recording, that play button. Here we go. Hello there, note investors. Today we are talking about how artificial intelligence can help you in your note investing business. We will chat about ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Eleven Labs, and many other useful AI tools. <laughs> that is crazy. So that's, that's a generated that's <laughs> voice. Yeah. From Nathan. Yeah. It and it's very easy to do. All I did was I found Nathan on YouTube, took a 30 seconds piece of uh tech audio and uploaded it to this tool called Eleven Labs. And now I've got a, a, a model of his voice and I, I can make Nathan say anything. So Nathan is now my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> that that is wild. Yeah. That is wild. Huh. So anyone, anyone can do it now. So, you know, if, you, if you're a lot, a lot of people get nervous when they're um, talking and stuff on podcasts, video, everything, you can, if you can get 30 seconds of good audio, now you can have your own podcast very, very easily without having the ums and ahs and all that type of stuff that most of us have when we do, you know, audio bod podcasts and stuff. So, so that, yeah. Did you type up that? Yeah, I so I I just so basically I, I get your voice. Yeah. And now I just I can make you say anything. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we can show that a bit later if you want. It's very easy. It's yeah. just uh, you know you do if, if to do your own voice you just speak into a into a into a microphone. Yeah. For Thirty seconds, and now you can have yourself say anything, and it will take out a lot. It will filter out all the ums and ahs when you're saying that thirty seconds. So it will give you. You know, a pretty good clone of your voice. Whoa, so let's just great. back up for a second here, right? So how long have you been in the computer space? How long have you been doing this kind of world? What got you into AI? Um, and are you also in the involvement in real estate? Are you using yeah, this stuff yeah. for real estate purposes? Well, going back, I was an engineer for a long time. Then I got into real estate and, and investing about 15 years ago. I got some rentals. I've got some notes, but then I started doing more with technology and marketing. So I've mostly my business is marketing, but I have my own real estate and notes invested portfolio. So, um, so that's kind of the you know how I'm cross over my marketing and notes. Kind of that's yeah. what I do now. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. So, and this AI stuff, we've been using this in our, in our business probably since about 2018, but it's only been a very little, much small amount. And it was what about 2022 when ChatGPT came out, November 2022, that it got really good. And then in March of 23, it got really, really good with ChatGPT4. Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's everywhere. It's eating everything. Uh, I was recently at a traffic conversion summit, which is a is a good digital marketing conference, and every single presenter was talking about AI in this, that, and the other. And it's like, even I was like, "Wow, <laughs> it's going to eat everyone's lunch if we don't get at least do some of this stuff." So yeah. this this takes me back to early university days, and a friend of mine was like. Um, Hey, you got to go on to the internet and go on to these like search engines. I'm it's, like, for what? And he's like, you can look up whatever you want. I'm like, okay, like what? And so like, I remember going into the computer lab, sitting down at a computer. I'm like, I have no idea what to even <laughs> start with. I think yeah. the first thing that I searched was like song lyrics. Cause yeah. I'm like, yeah. I couldn't think of anything else to do uh, I like it just was too big of a of a topic for me to even comprehend and now of course it's something I use every day multiple times a day but yeah. I think that's kind of where I am with AI like I don't even know where to start like do I look I up mean, song lyrics <laughs> well there is AIs that can write song lyrics for you <laughs> you can just give give me a song about note invest and then it will write a <laughs> rap about it um AI some people have likened it to to the invention of electricity. You know, it, it's that fundamental now. It, wow. it, it it's in every walk of it's in everything now. Any big business is using it all over the place. Google has been using it for years, but uh, 
you know, so, as Nos investors, we should be using at least some of it to do some of our day-to-day -day tasks. You know, mm -hmm. Chat GPT is the big one. Yep. And then Bard and Claude, and there's hundreds of others. But, you know, those three are the main kind of ones you probably want to look at first. And Chat GPT is probably the most well-known. Bard is trying to catch up, which is Google's version of it. Mm -hmm. But Chat GPT is still a little bit ahead of it in certain areas because it, it's been around a little bit longer and it's got a better uh, infrastructure. There's a lot of people teaching stuff about Chat GPT and there's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, so, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. that would be the first place to, to, to go for an investor is go and sign up for a free Chat GPT account. It's chat.openai.com. And just play gotcha. around with it. I do so, have that, but I, again, I haven't done very much with it. I think I asked it to write a um, a couple of social media posts, and they were pretty good. But yeah, and that's I, yeah, I actually used them. But and and that is the ideal thing to do with it is is you know, give me five ideas for social for a social media post about note investing about my specific thing. Because, you know, I, sometimes I coming up with ideas is the hardest thing. So it'll say, come up with five ideas. Now write those five ideas for me for Twitter. Mm -hmm. but they have to be short. Write them for LinkedIn. They have to be longer. Or Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, you just say, just tell it what you want. Talk to it in a somewhat more natural way than, than you do with Google. You can give it more. The more specific you are, prompt engineering mm -hmm. it's called, you know, mm -hmm. the more specific more information and specific you are the better the response is if you just say write a post about bit x it'll be you know okay it'll be okay but if you give it write a post about x in the voice of you know dan kennedy if you if you like copywriting write in someone else's voice so you know they know that how how if you you know if you want a copywriting type thing write dan kennedy is well known so you can say write mm -hmm. me a, a social media posts in the style of Dan Kennedy about the benefits of the benefits of investing in notes or real estate or something. And it will, it knows how Dan Kennedy structures his, 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 his words. So it will be, it'll sound and look like Dan Kennedy. Hmm. And you do that with anyone that's, that is in chat GPT. GPT has basically taken almost the whole internet and compressed it into a model of, of how it, understand, it understands a lot of text, audio, and video now. So yeah. it, 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 it's kind of the internet in a chat interface. So you can ask it the same type of questions in, that you would in Google, ask mm -hmm. it in chat GPT, and it'll give you a, it'll give you a different answer. And you, but but it's it's pulled from the vast amount of knowledge on the internet that's not behind a paywall or behind a uh, you know some sort of login system on the open web it's it's pretty much in, absorbed everything there is out there that mm, is publicly yeah. consumable hmm. 